Good morning, friends. Happy Tuesday and welcome to Family Storytime. I'm Miss Abby from the Lacrosse Public Library and I'm so excited to bring you Storytime today. Before we begin, we have a, I have just a few announcements. Um, first, if you have some older kiddos, some independent readers in your house, so grades second through 12th, we have a new program at the library called Lit Boxes. So they're monthly subscription boxes that come with library books and also some goodies that the kiddos get to keep as well. So if you'd like more information on that, you can always contact, contact us at the Youth Services Desk or you can look on our website under the Children and Teens tab. There's more information. Um, we'll also have story time on Thursday morning if you'd like to join us uh, on YouTube as well and a story time short on Friday. And I'll be doing yoga via Zoom with Barb from Palm and Pine um, Friday morning at 1030. So you can sign up for that Zoom link on our website calendar as well. All right, friends, I know that that was a lot of announcements for your grown-ups, so I think we're ready to get started. Uh, before we begin singing and reading, if you have a scarf, you can go grab that now. We'll use it a little bit later for some of our songs. If you don't have a scarf, that's totally fine. You could grab a dish towel or a washcloth or a rag or a sock maybe even some undies, Ugh. but make sure they're clean. Just something to shake a little bit later. That would be great. Okay, I think we're ready to get started. And first, we're going to sing our hello song. And we have some actions that go with our hello song. So I'm going to teach you those right now. So first, can you take your hand and make it flat like a pancake? Very nice. And then we're going to touch our fuzzy eyebrows. We're going to push it away. That means hello. And then we're going to take our two pointer fingers. We're going to hug them together, just like you'd hug your friends. And then we're going to take one finger and tap our wrist for time. And then we're going to touch our chin and push it away for say. And we're going to put that all together in our hello song. Can you help me sing it, friends? Let's try, I think you can. Ready? Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Very good, friends. Thank you for singing with me. Let's practice one more time. This time, can we use our whisper voices? Can I hear your whisper voices? Whisper, whisper, whisper. Let's try singing in our whisper voices. It's kind of silly, but I think we can do it. Ready? Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends, it's time to say hello. Good job, friends. Wonderful. All right, let's shake our wiggles out a little bit, and then I think we're ready for our first book. Should we shake one more time? Let's try. Shake, 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 shake. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, our first book today is called when the Storm Comes by Linda Ashman, illustrated by Taeyun Yu. Do you see what's happening in the sky? Those look like clouds. What happens when clouds fill the sky? Does it rain or snow? Sometimes thunder or lightning? I think it might even rain today a little bit. So this book is called When the Storm Comes. You can see all those gray clouds starting to fill the sky. When the storm comes. See over here, the sky's clear. You can see the clouds starting to move in. Mm -hmm. 
What do you do when the clouds roll in, when the wind chimes clang and the weather vane spins? We watch, we sniff, we perk our ears and listen as the rumbling nears. We count supplies, we check the news, we find our comfort spot, we snooze. See that kitty is sleeping. She's not worried about the storm. Where do you go when the sky turns gray? When the grasses bend and the treetops sway? See how the wind is blowing? It's pushing the trees. We gather here below the eaves. We roost beneath some sturdy leaves. We put our busy work aside and buzz back to the hive to hide. We find a small protected space, a hollow log, a sheltered place. What do you do when the buoys rock? when the waves crash hard against the dock. See the waves? Ooh. This storm must be very windy. We find, we ride a blast of stormy air. We find a cove, it's safer there. We dodge the weather if we can. We swim down deep away from land. We close, we cover, latch and tie. We bring things in to keep them dry. Then lightning cracks and thunder roars. It shakes the shutters, rattles doors. The rain pours down. The sky turns slate. We hunker down to watch and wait. We play a game by candlelight, tell some stories, curl up tight. We listen to the rainfall rush, then drizzle, patter, flip, Plop, hush. Do you think the storm's slowing down? I do. I think the rain's slowing. The clouds are breaking up. What do you do when the storm has passed? When the sun comes out and it's calm at last? We scout, we fly, we shake, shake, shake until we're dry. We leave our dens. We clean things up, we sweep and rake. We haul debris, we mix 
and bake. We check on neighbors, make repairs, bring out tables, pull up chairs. We settle in, enjoy the sun, happy that the storm is done, grateful for the change in weather and for friends who flock together. The end. That was When the Storm Comes. I hope you enjoyed that, friends. Oh, I don't mind storms. What my favorite thing to do is when it's rainy and stormy outside is curl up and read. I love to read when it's stormy. All right, friends, do you think you could help me sing a song about rain? I think you might know this one. It's called The Itsy Bitsy Spider. Do you know this song? I bet you do. If you don't, that's fine. We'll sing it through twice so you can learn it. So let's make our hands into spiders, crawly spiders. We're going to crawl them up the drain pipe. And they're going to get washed out. And then the sun's going to come up. Can you make your arms into a big sun? It's going to dry up the rain and we're going to crawl back up again. All right, friends, are you ready? Can you sing Itsy Bitsy Spider with me? Let's try it, okay, ready? The Itsy Bitsy Spider crawled up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the Itsy Bitsy Spider climbed up the spout again. Good job, friends. Should we try that one more time? I think you can help me, but uh oh, this time. I have a little spider friend that's gonna sing with us. Do you think this spider can climb up the spout? Let's see, are you ready? Let's see, can you help me? The itsy bitsy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider climbed up the spout again. What do you think, friends? Did the spider do a good job climbing? Did your spider do a good job? I bet he or she did. All right, are you ready for our next story? This is a very special book. So this story is called We Are the Water Protectors. It was written by Carol Lindstrom and it was illustrated by Michaela Goad. And it's special because it won a very important award called the Caldecott Medal. And it won the award for its beautiful illustrations. So if you wanna get a little bit closer to the screen so you can really see these lovely illustrations while I read to you, that might be nice but we are going to read, We Are the Water Protectors. We are the water protectors. You can see the beautiful blues of the flowing water. Water is the first medicine. Nokomis told me. Nokomis and the little girl. We come from water. It nourished us inside our mother's body as it nourishes us here on Mother Earth. Water is sacred, she said.
We stand with our songs and our drums. We are still here. The river's rhythm runs through my veins, runs through my people's veins. My people talk of a black snake that will destroy the land. Spoil the water, poison plants and animals, wreck everything in its path. When my people first spoke of the black snake, they foretold that it wouldn't come for many, many years. Now the black snake is here. Its venom burns the land, courses through the water, making it unfit to drink. Take courage. I must keep the black snake away from my village's water. I must rally my people together. To stand for the water, to stand for the land, to stand as one against the black snake. We stand with our songs and our drums. We are still here. It will not be easy. We fight for those who cannot fight for themselves, the winged ones, the crawling ones. The four-legged, the two-legged, the plants, trees, rivers, lakes. The earth, we are all related. Tears like waterfalls stream down, tracks down my face, tracks down my people's faces. Water has its own spirit, Nokomis told me. Water is alive. Water remembers our ancestors who came before us, she said. We stand with our songs and our drums. We are still here. We are stewards of the earth. Our spirits have not been broken. We are water protectors. We stand. The black snake is in for the fight of its life.
the end. That was We Are the Water Protectors. All right, friends. Before we sing a few songs and read one more book, do you think you could help me? I think Little Mouse is hiding because I don't think he likes rain and thunderstorms. So if it rains today, I think he's being prepared and hiding. So I was hoping maybe you could help me find Little Mouse. So Little Mouse, I think, is in one of these houses. And we're going to say, Little Mouse, Little Mouse, are you inside the... And then we're going to choose a house by its color. So you can you help me name the colors of these houses. So we have a red light house, a brown cabin, a blue apartment building, a yellow trailer, and a white two-story house. All right, friends. I hope you can help me. We're going to start with the light house first. Are you ready? Let's just say our rhyme in a normal voice first, okay? Little mouse, little mouse, are you inside the red house? Should we check? One, two, three. <sighs> no little mouse. We better keep looking. Hmm. This time, can we say our rhyme very slowly? Let's try it. Let's try the brown cabin. Little mouse, little mouse, are you inside the brown house? One, two, three. No mouse. Hmm. Let's try the blue house. And this time, Let's say our rhyme super fast, okay? Little mouse, little mouse, are you inside the blue house? One, two, three, oh, no little mouse. Hmm, we have two houses left. Let's try the yellow house this time and let's whisper. Can you whisper with me? Let's try it, ready? Little mouse. Little mouse, are you inside the yellow house? Let's look. One, two, three. No, little mouse. Maybe little mouse is sleeping, so maybe we should say our rhyme really loudly this time. Can you help me? Ready? Little mouse, little mouse, are you inside the white house? One two, three, there's our little mouse. Squeak, 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 squeak. I bet little mouse was sleeping, but we woke him up. Maybe it's a snack time now. Okay, friends, do you have your scarf ready to go or something to shake? We're gonna sing a few scarf songs, okay? So first we're gonna sing One Bright Scarf. Okay, so we're gonna wave our scarves in the air. We're gonna wave them high. We're gonna wave them low. Then we're gonna hide them behind our backs. Do you think you can do that with me? It'd be super fun. Let's try it. Then we're also gonna shake our scarves high, shake them low, and then hide them behind our back. Okay, let's try it. Ready? Get your scarves ready. Hold on to them tight. All right. One bright scarf waiting for the wind to blow. Wave it high and wave it low. Wiggle it fast and wiggle it slow. Where did it go? Where did our scarves go? Huh. Are they behind you? Yeah, mine's right behind my bag. Let's try that again, friends. Are you ready? We can do it, ready? One bright scarf waiting for the wind to blow. Wave it high and wave it low. Wiggle it fast and wiggle it slow. Where did it go? Where's my scarf? Hmm. Here it is. It was behind my back. I'm just being silly. I knew it was there. 
Did you find your scarves too? Oh, good, good. All right, can we sing another scarf song? This will be perfect if it rains today because it's called Little Raindrops. So first, we're gonna kind of squish our scarf up. We're gonna make it little. And our little raindrops aren't gonna fall really far. They're just little raindrops. But then our raindrops are gonna get bigger. And they're gonna make a bit more of a splash, okay? And then our raindrops are gonna be giant, so you can spread your scarf out really wide. They're gonna be giant raindrops, okay? Can you help me sing little raindrops? Let's make our scarf little first. There we go, okay, ready? Little raindrops falling down, falling down, falling down. Little raindrops falling down, falling to the ground. Now bigger. Bigger raindrops falling down, falling down, falling down. Bigger raindrops falling down, falling to the ground. Now, can you do giant with me? Ready? <gasps> giant raindrops falling down, falling down, falling down. Giant raindrops falling down, falling to the ground. Good job, friends. Let's do that one more time. Let's make our raindrops really little first. Ready? Little raindrops falling down, Falling down, falling down, little raindrops falling down, falling to the ground. Now bigger, bigger raindrops. Bigger raindrops falling down, falling down, falling down. Bigger raindrops falling down, falling to the ground. How about giant? Are you ready? Giant raindrops falling down, falling down, falling down. Giant raindrops falling down, falling to the ground. Good job, friends. I hope you didn't get soaked. Did you get wet from your raindrops? Uh-oh. Hmm, but if you got soaked, that would be perfect for our last book today. Because you wanna know what our last book is called? It's called Soaked by Abby Cushman. Do you see all those animals? They're just soaked, they're out in the rain. Even though they have an umbrella, it doesn't cover all of them. There's a badger and a bunny and a bear with an ice cream cone. Hmm. Does that bear look very happy? He's not very happy to be out in the rain. Do you like to play in the rain? I think it's pretty fun if it's not, uh, if there's not thunder and lightning outside. This is called Soap by Abby Cushman. Uh-oh. Starting to rain. Ugh, look at all this rain. Everything is dreary. Everything is drenched. And no one is happy. Not that badger. Not that bunny. Not that hula hooping moose. Whoosh. Whoosh, whoosh, and especially not me. Ooh, that bear looks grumpy. And also, why is a moose hula hooping? Because the rain ruins everything. Ice cream cones, sand castles, cashmere sweaters, all the things that bears love. I 
I did not know bears loved ice cream or sweaters. What's that you say? Why don't we just go inside my cave until the rain stops? Oh my goodness, that bunny is wearing a bucket. I think these animals are a little bit silly. Oh, yes. Great idea. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Ugh, doesn't feel crowded at all in here. And sure, I'd love to use my umbrella, the blue one with the bumblebees on it. But everyone looked. No one can find it. Badger said she found her blue bumblebee umbrella, but not mine. Blah. I guess I'll just go sit on my log and wallow. Blah. Uh oh. Whoop. Hmm. <gasps> what are they all looking at? See what happened to Moose's hula hoop? Got stuck in the tree. Wait a minute. We can't have a hula hooping moose without a hula hoop, can we? Ugh, great. We got it. Now I can return to my wallowing on my... Whoa! Me? Try the hula hoop? Do you think Bear's going to do it? Hmm. Let's see. Seriously? Okay, fine. But I won't have any fun. There. I did it. Totally unfun, just like I thought. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need a moment to myself. What do you think Bear's going to do? What do you think he's going to do by himself? <gasps> sploosh, splish, sploosh, splash, splish, sploosh. He's hula hooping in a puddle. Silly bear. Look at all this rain. Everyone is splashing. Everyone is soaked. And they're hula hooping. And it's so splishy and splashy and silly and soggy. It's so, oh, did the rain stop? Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Blah, too sunny. The end. Oh, Bear's grumpy again because now he likes playing in the rain. That was called Soaked by Abby Cushman.
All right, friends, that's our story time for today. I hope you can join us Thursday and Friday as well. And remember, if you want to come into the library to pick out your own books and say hello, we are open for that um, Monday through Saturday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. All right, friends, are you ready to sing our goodbye song? We're going to wave goodbye to our friends, hug our fingers together, tap our wrist for time, touch our chin, and push it away for safe. All right, friends, are you ready? Can you sing with me? Okay, let's try it. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Good job, friends. Let's try that one more time, but with no voices, just our actions, okay? And I'll hum for us. So let's zip our lips. Good job, friends. Thank you so much for joining me today. I wish I could see you in person, but hopefully soon. I'm giving you all a big squish and have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye, friends.